Well, uh, I'm going to do something that someone else did, so I'm going to start with a few questions. Um, how many of you all went to college? Undergrad, grad, associate's degree? Keep your hands raised up really high. Uh, how many of you all thought that one of the reasons why you went to college was to improve your career? That you'll graduate, you'll have a great career after that? How many of you all used that small department at the end of the college somewhere called career services development? <laughs> hey, these hands which are seen up, guys look, these are the unicorns of those universities. Because career service is the most underfunded department in our university. We all go to college to get a great career, but we all graduate without understanding what it takes to find a good job. And that's because the way universities are structured is that career services is not counted as a cost earning department. So what that results is in all of this. High unemployment on graduation, students not knowing they need an internship, horrible, horrible resumes, and career services not being taught during entire four years of college. It doesn't mean that the career services people are bad, it just means that they are very understaffed. So what we did was we actually built them an AI. We built them an AI which would assist them in their work by proofreading resumes, by conducting interviews, and then giving feedback to the interviews, bringing career services into the classrooms. So once a student comes to the platform, they upload their resume, and our platform would analyze the resume for different things. It would look at what they have written, the keywords, the formatting, and give them feedback all automatically. Our AI would then, based upon their resume and choice of industry, conduct an interview. And I had, uh, hopefully, an interview lined up. Testing one, two, three. Sorry, that's going to be super loud now. Hello, Himmel. Welcome to your interview. My name is Quinn. You will have two minutes for your first question and 90 seconds for each subsequent question. The time remaining for each question will be shown on the clock above. If you have finished your answer before your time runs out, feel free to proceed to the next question. Let us begin. Please tell me a bit about yourself. So using NLP and using every, every piece of machine learning and computer vision, we actually take all of these questions and they're personalized based upon the student's resume and their choice of industry. They can go through as many questions as they like and every time they respond, it's going to ask them a different question and a different follow-up question. Why did you choose University of South Carolina? And if you could, would you do anything differently? Let us go back. <laughs> once, once the interview is done, the biggest, <laughs> the biggest, biggest concern is, okay, you conducted an interview, but you also have to give feedback. Who's going to sit down and give feedback for it? So what we did is we broke down the interview into audio, video, and content. We analyzed their audio for transcript for rate of speech, filler words. We analyze their video for their expressiveness, their eye contact. And based upon all of that, we can actually give them feedback for each question as to what tricks they should be doing, how they should be doing, as well as give them a score for that. So why start with universities? We started with universities because it helps us train those students and it helps them bring before we actually connect them to employers. We are circling the full way around on how career services was supposed to be done. Train college students, help them find companies, and then connect them with those companies. We predict that in the future what will happen is Quinn will not only train students, but it will also do first round screening of interviews, do first round screening of uh, resumes, and then tell students which stu tell employers which students are the best match for them. Uh, we are already revenue positive in around 15 to 20 universities, have been operating since 2016. Uh, and this is the awesome team behind us. Uh, hopefully it's going to increase more with time. Uh, but that is it. That is Quincia. Thank you.
questions. Great, this is like Quinn. Okay. <laughs> yes. How does it compare to like a human evaluator? Um, Quincy will never, never replace a human hiring manager. That manager, that decision still has to be made. Um, it will be very good to compare the first round of interviews that you have with a recruiter or someone who is doing that. Um, you know, the initial round screening. So it's going to replace that because with NLP as well as by looking at facial expressions, that is something that is still possible. Um, we still want to leave them control in terms of the hiring manager on who they want to work with. Yes. Are you able to rewatch your Yes, I watch rewatch a lot of my interviews, and uh, I'm surprised all the time. It shows that I raise my eyebrows a lot. What the system can do is it can suggest you strategies. So it, if you say, um, what's the most difficult situation, it can tell you use the STAR method to explain it. If the student says, my most difficult situation is finding a parking spot, it most probably cannot recommend that. So you still need a human to do that. Um, so, yes, sorry. Um, have you compared it against something like the Myers Briggs test? Do you feel like it would be a good replacement for that? Uh, I have not compared it with the Myers-Briggs test. I don't know if it would be a replacement for it. Yes? Where do you, sell, where do you see yourself going with this technology in the future? Um, essentially, right now we have started just with college students because they have little experience, so it's kind of easier to analyze uh, the data. Um, eventually, I don't, in the next four years, whether it's with Quincy or whether it's anybody else, I don't see you con anybody conducting first round screening interviews. I don't see, maybe resumes will be replaced by LinkedIn, but the first round interviews will be done by some kind of technology, uh, whether it's Quincy or whether it's anything else. Um, Quincia in Latin means ability and opportunity. Quinn was a gender neutral name for us to make an AI bot so we could convert it to a male or a female. Um, we just started with a female initially. But that's the law, that's the whole history behind what, why we came up with it. Thank you.